Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the data structures which are used in R. What are data structures? Data structures are used to organize the data that we all have uh, uh, grown up learning data structures with the like of uh, trees, graphs, right, list, linked list and all. So again, we got some data structures available in the R as well. You can see it in front of you. I have listed six data structures which are used quite often uh, with the likes of vectors, list, data frames, matrices, arrays, and factors. Although I'll be uploading the separate videos for all these six data structures, but because it's just the introductory video, I'll be just be explaining the things in little uh, brief, right? First is vectors. What are vectors? Although in the previous uh, some videos, you must have noticed that I have already have used vectors and I was creating the vector with the help of C function or combined function. And this is a syntax which is given it here. This is how we can create a vector. All the data structures can easily be classified on, basis, on the basis of like whether they are storing a data of same type or different type, like homogeneous or heterogeneous, or whether they are storing data in one dimension or more than one dimension. Vectors are of one dimension uh, data structure and it will be storing a data of a same type, right? Next, we have a list. List is another data structure available, uh, which is of heterogeneous type. It means it will be storing a data of multiple different data types. Like you can see it here, we have an ID, which is obviously will be of uh, numeric. Name means string. Again, number of uh, employees, again, will be numeric. So it is a combination of uh, multiple data, data types, right? And it is also a one dimensional. Now, ne next, we have our data frames. Data frames, you can think of it just a table. It means it will be storing a data in a form of rows and column and it will also be storing a data of different types. Then we have a matrices. We all have certain matrices or metrics in the uh, mathematics class. It will it's, it's just the same again. We got a matrix available which can be created with the help of function called matrix in which I'm just defining four elements and number of rows and number of columns are two. It, it means it's a two by two matrix. So matrices are nothing but the storing a data, organizing a data in a form of rows and column rectangular type. Then we have uh, arrays available. Arrays, again, uh, another data structure we got in R, which can be created with the help of array function, in which we got multiple arguments available with the likes of dimension names, dimensions, and all. This is how we can create the array. And it is also, we uh, will be storing a data of different types. Then we got a uh, factors. Factors are nothing but used to store the data of categorical data, basically. It means it will be storing a data in the form of levels. Like in this case, we got a male and female available. So the levels in this will be male and female respectively. So this uh, marks the end of this video in which I just have quickly introduced you the, the topic called data structures. In the next top, in the next video, I'll be coming up with the vectors in detail. Thanks for watching guys. See you in next video.